the 2p offer was a mistake they've apologized to customers who've ordered the tvs and promised to refund any money they've paid now holidays millions more have been taking them in the uk since the financial crisis started travel agents expect that trend to continue next year but be careful before booking a so-called staycation here's rebecca wilcox so many holidays, so many choices. The trips abroad look fantastic and they make the ones in Britain sound just as appealing. Oh no, I could do this one. Set in the glorious Sherwood Forest. A truly memorable experience. First class facilities, stylish accommodation. Unless of course they mean centre parks. One viewer checked into Centre Park Sherwood Forest earlier this year, hoping to celebrate a friend's birthday. Instead, he found his room to be less stylish and more of a stinky stench. Damp, mildew and some rare fungus growing from his toilet ceiling. Not what you'd expect for £600. When he complained at reception, they told him he should have paid for a better room. Charming. But if a woodland retreat is not your thing, how about a classic beach holiday? OK, so maybe this one. Close to award-winning beaches, a wide range of activities. Whichever park you choose, you can't go wrong. Unless they mean Pontins. Once it had almost 30 holiday parks around the country, and Pontins became famous for its blue-coat entertainers, like Shane Ritchie and Bobby Davro. Leslie Adgerson checked into Prestatin Sands in May. Well, this is one of the pillows that my son um, had oh. to sleep on in his bed. And this was the mattress, which is also stained. <laughs> oh, just, that is horrible. Yeah. Unidentified stains on yeah. bedding is never no, a nice thing to think it's about. it's not nice. Rotting window frames, peeling paint, food in the sink, an intermittent water supply, dirty carpets. What is this place? We kept our shoes on all the time because the carpets were so dirty. And as we got into bed, we put our shoes on the floor so we didn't have to walk on anything with bare feet. Oh. There was just, I don't know what that was on the floor, but <gasps> most of the, I mean... Is that an animal? Well, I'm not sure. It was just, we didn't touch it. And this is the room you're supposed to try and get clean This in. was the bathroom. My husband actually had to use the bath one night, but there was no plug to <laughs> hold the water in. And it had somebody else's hairs sort of entangled oh, in the plug no. hole. I mean, to, to me, it just needs demolishing and, and rebuilding, really. It, it was just awful. But is Pristatin Sands a one-off or typical of the Pontins chain? We sent two members of the watchdog team undercover to Camber Sands Park in Sussex. Lucky them. The more I think about it, it does smell like vomit in here. Where can we start? Kitchen? It's quite grimy. It doesn't feel like it's been cleaned here at all. There's bits of paper on the floor. I don't think anyone's hoovered down here. <laughs> Mm. Hungry? Yay! We're on holiday! The bath is falling apart. Bit of a hole in the wall. Where are you? <laughs> that is a beautiful sight. Looks like someone's had an accident. <laughs> is that your bed? After an itchy night's sleep, our campers felt the need to change apartments. At £272 for a weekend, surely not all the rooms are this bad. Peeling lino. Broken furniture. A lumpy carpet. That would be the rubble. Nice. More living creatures. And... Drugs? 10 milligrams of temazepam, a prescription drug for insomnia. Now even my hoovering skills would have cleaned that up. It was time to complain at reception, but even the staff seemed helpless. Well, at least they're honest. The rest of the park was just as bad, run down and generally dirty. They even found glass in the crazy golf and right next door to a children's sand pit. They don't mention that in the brochure. The unhappy tourists we featured so far all stayed in UK holiday parks, which, to be quite honest, aren't everyone's cup of tea. But if it's a traditional British hotel you're after, then look no further than Britannia. With 35 hotels across the country and a name to be proud of, you'd be forgiven for thinking solid, reliable, high quality. Sorry to disappoint. 
We found these snaps on TripAdvisor taken at Britannia Hotel in Brighton. When I walked into the room, the horror of uh, Britannia Hotels actually uh, was there looking me in the face. Mark Foster also stayed at the Britannia in Brighton and found this. Damaged furniture, dirty, tatty, scratched, you name it, it, it was horrendous. Other guests shared his view. These are just some of the hotel reviews posted online. The worst hotel I've ever stayed in. Avoid at all costs. Take a tent. I don't know where those guests have got with their complaints, but at least Mark has some satisfaction. Britannia have admitted their standards fell short. They've reimbursed him and offered a complimentary weekend. But what about these other staycation favourites? Can they still persuade us to holiday at home? OK, that's a question for you. Yes, well, we've had a response from Co Centre Parks. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, they have apologised uh, to the viewer with the fungus filled room. They say their normal standards, of course, weren't maintained on this occasion and they are discussing compensation with them. And Pontins, that filthy, filthy, filthy apartment. Yes, it doesn't make you feel very clean, does it? No. Another apology, they say they've had problems recruiting cleaners, but that's no excuse for the accommodation, uh, which hasn't been cleaned properly. They've also launched an investigation to find out if certain apartments were let when they shouldn't have been. But I do okay. have some great news for you because right. Pontins say they still do offer top-line cabaret, including... Drum roll, please. <laughs> yes, the brother and sister act from X Factor 2007. Same difference. They're on. You Fantastic. can't argue with that. Shall we run away together to press that in? I'm available. <laughs>